Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm gonna talk a bit before I start driving. Um, been super busy. Uh, hopefully the audio and everything transfers over the same as it did on my note to a new phone. I'll get into that in a second. Um, just had a whole bunch of stuff going on, but before I get driving, I'll go over a couple things I'm shipping out. So. This right here is a box of uh, Amazon FBA stuff. I've mentioned before, I'm not doing a lot of FBA anymore. Um, I turned off my pro account to where it charges me 99 cents per transaction, but it doesn't have that $40 a month charge. Um, I'm not doing 40 items a month with FBA right now. I think I only have about 35 items in there, um, but they're all high dollar items that have a um, pretty low ranking number. So they should move fairly quick. So this has a book I got at a yard sale for five bucks. This sells for 80. Um, couple sunshades that I picked up for four or five dollars that sell for $45 a piece. And a board game that I got for 10 bucks that sells for I think 55. Um, and going into Q4, it's all stuff that should blow through pretty quickly. Um, the other thing to note, I'll get into phones here in a second. Um, one thing to keep in mind, I do love OtterBox. I always use the Defender cases. This model here is called Symmetry. It's going back to Amazon. Um, I like OtterBox, but this one, um, and this may not be for every model, but I would assume it's pretty similar across all of them. For the S8 Pluses, the back of this is extremely slick. Um, it's hard to hold on to. Uh, even with like dry hands and everything. I got this from my wife's phone. I always use a Defender um, Just because I am hard on phones um, She likes a little She's hard on phones as well. She has a Defender now um, But I got the symmetry because it was a little thinner But it's just too slick to hold on to so if you're looking for otter boxes I would stick with the commuter if it's available and the Defender um, the Defender is what I've used on all my phones. Uh, I'll get into why I switched phones here in a minute. eBay sales haven't been crazy, but I haven't listed in almost two weeks, so I shouldn't expect much. I've only got 170 items live right now. But even with that, this is a pair of, to me, hideously ugly uh, Taylor Swift style High waisted jeans from American Apparel. New with tags, uh, 45 bucks shipped. Keep an eye out for those. I picked those up for six dollars. Um, this is a Hollister um, polo shirt. Uh, I got it for a dollar at Goodwill. Uh, it sold for 10 plus shipping, and I made about a dollar on shipping. Um, this I am down to only one of these left. These are those, if you go back to my other videos, these are those Prime Spin 360 degree uh, photography platforms. So there's a software you can use to do a 3D rendering and you have to have your, your item turn at a specific speed. These do that. Um, I picked these all up for about $14 a piece. Uh, at a savers and I have I did some FBA because I had so many of them I sent a bunch in FBA and then when I started doing um, eBay again I listed about six of them on eBay and now I'm down to one I took an offer on this one I think I have them up for 140 with free shipping I took an offer of a hundred on that one not bad 16 bucks to a hundred this is a board game um, kind of a weird board game it was called 3M's Thinking Man's Football I think the copyright on it was like 65 um, this package and that last package I've mentioned it in another video normally I would ship these uh, because of the size and weight it goes over first class weight this one not by much but uh, um, I would ship it FedEx uh, Smart Saver or smart post or whatever it's called these depending on where you're at i'm in utah um, both of these ended up going this one went to california and that prime spin uh oregon 
So if it goes west coast, it's the same price or cheaper. Uh, actually, I think on the prime spin, it cost me 25 cents more, but they're going priority mail. So again, it's all a customer service business. If you promise FedEx Smart Post and they're expecting two to seven days, and all of a sudden they get two day priority, um, they're gonna be happy. So, and I've had feedback that, that um, backs that up. So, like this one, the board game, it was actually cheaper to go priority than it was to go Smart Post. And I haven't had any issues with Smart Post, honestly. Um, that huge box I shipped, it looks like FedEx let an elephant sit on it, so the picture got damaged, and I am currently, as soon as I finish this video, I'll be getting on the phone with FedEx, um, because I have to call them about my freight claim. Um, if you ship anything expensive with FedEx, uh, or anything that you're going to want to have insurance on, and I don't know if this is just because of the value. The value on this is $525 plus shipping. So it's about $700. Um, if you want that to actually be able to have a claim, you need pictures of the item before it was packed. You need pictures of the item uh, internal packaging. And you need pictures of the external packaging. Then you're going to need pictures of its delivery. You're going to need pictures of it after when it gets there, when it arrives. So to cover your butt, um, I would suggest, which I actually did on accident, but I'm glad I did it now. Uh, I took pictures of everything as I packed it. And then as soon as she said it was damaged, the buyer has been amazingly cooperative. And she sent me pictures of all the damaged stuff. So that may not always be the case. Um, and there's a chance your buyer will get it and throw away the internal packaging. And then your claim is you can't do anything. So be sure and if you, pretty much anything now over $100, I'm going to photograph it as it goes in the box. It just takes a couple seconds and then if you need that, it's there. So I'm just going to take my phone, take a couple pictures, we're good to go. Um, so anyway, that's kind of my eBay reselling day for today um, videos have been a little slow because uh, I've had a lot of other stuff going on I was out of town for two weeks I did just get uh, yesterday my wife and I we photographed about a hundred between a hundred and hundred and fifty items right now I kind of photograph everything I don't have a lighting setup so I have to have daylight so I photographed a whole bunch and I will now be uh, listing those later in the evenings when I have time. So that's kind of my plan for those going forward because uh, I do need to get my listings back up. Um, I was getting daily sales, three or four items a day when I had over 200 items. So I've got to get back up to that, that number. And um, while I was in Colorado, I got a ton of clothes at yard sales. We we're in a good neighborhood where there was just ton of, tons of Tommy Hilfinger, Ralph Lauren, uh, Woolworth sweaters um, I got a whole bunch whole bunch of clothes a uh, bunch of Levi jeans Eddie Bauer jeans Columbia jeans um, bigger sizes um, most of my jeans are women's and they're smaller sizes they sell they've got watchers but they're not moving quickly now it's getting cooler hopefully they will but I've heard bigger sizes sell better and these were some bigger sizes um, so yeah hopefully that all kind of rolls up and like I said, it's it's not eBay, it's not anything else, it's me. My sales aren't terrible for me because I don't have as many items up as I should. So I've been busy with other stuff. Um, next video I'm gonna talk about a couple things that have been taking up some time, but also some ways that may save you some money. So uh, almost to UPS, I'm gonna drop off that OtterBox to go back to Amazon and that FBA shipment get those gone and um, then I will be back with you guys so we'll talk to you here in just a minute have a great one y'all